Okay. Is that a chair now? Can I invite you? For your talk, please. Another one will be back. So <laughs> uh, I would like to present to you briefly because it's a long story about the house, long story about the family, but briefly uh, the story about the restoration of the house. The title of my my presentation is Beyond the Glass Room: Restoring of Villa Together in Beno. Together House was built during the years 1920. 1929 and 1930 and designed by uh, excellent European architects uh, and at the time uh, the director of the Bauhaus, Ludwig Mies van der Rohe. In this picture, in this first collection of the historical picture, you can see uh, really the house uh, in, in photos, through the photos of the Sandal Atelier. So it is slightly after uh, this finishing. Uh, Miss van der Rohe and, uh, and uh, young couple, Jewish couple, uh, Greta and Fritz Tukendat met in Berlin. You know, Berlin was mostly at that time very important city with uh, cultural events and a lot of activities around. And uh, Greta and Fritz really decided, because they traveled a lot of them, they were uh, informed about the new progress and new development, they decided to ask Miss for design of uh, their new house. Uh, the interest in this quote of uh, Greta Token that uh, she said, I truly longed for a new simple house without the decoration, <coughs> as you know, with my husband from my childhood. So it was in fact the only description of the house because after that, this niece wasn't limited in the financial way, as well, uh, he was limited in the size of the house because uh, for the f at first they thought really about the smaller house. Uh, you can see garden, view. Uh, it may be necessary if I'm talking about the numbers. The house has uh, 6,000 uh, square meter, uh, cubic meters, sorry, and uh, it has together with the small corridors, it has 73 rooms, so it's quite a large number. Uh, you could see that the house is oriented to the south, probably because uh, for the first time in the history of uh, uh, residential architecture, modern movement architecture, when the support contains from the iron, col iron columns, uh, the house or our ceilings are holded by 29 uh, columns on the standing on the cross shape. Uh, you can see in the combination of the eye profile, it means that our ceilings and floors are with a, with a distance inside for it, with the space for insulation. Uh, sure, this uh, excellent house uh, is not important, uh, not only because of the construction system and space arrangement, but sure because the, uh, for instance, interior furnishing. Uh, you can see uh, there, uh, for instance, uh, wood as uh, rosewood, zebra wood, makasa, ebony, as well in, as uh, the excellent stones. Uh, in this picture, we are looking on the onyx wall uh, coming from northern, northern Morocco, from opposite sides. And uh, this rare and exotic materials, as well as uh, uh, the and all furniture inside, together with the technical equipment created from that size, really incredible work. But you can not be there only for eight years. I imagine that they were Jewish, so they were there only for, from 1930 to 1938. And after that, they were one of the first Jewish family who emigrated from Czechoslovakia. Uh, you probably know the, the well-known, famous uh, quote of Nice, less is more, or God is in detail. Uh, that's why, that, for instance, in the house is only a few pieces of art. This sculpture uh, by uh, Wilhelm Lambrook, expressionist the German uh, artist, is the only sculpture in the house. And uh, it's necessary to mention that slightly 
After the finishing of the house, uh, there was a lot of discussion in the pages, for instance, of, uh, of the journal before, when uh, maybe again for the first time in the history of architecture, the clients started to fight and to protect their architects. So it was really uh, incredible. This was in that time uh, uh, the director of the, of the Baumhaus, as well the director of the, of the Bergerbund, Deutsche Bergerbund, and uh, the question was, possible to live in the house. Since it's only pavilion, it's really possible to, to have a comfortable atmosphere inside. Uh, in the following question, you can find the, really the answer, answer. This is the collection of the pictures uh, made by uh, Fritz Tugendat himself. You can see how the family really enjoyed the stay in a house, the way to which, as I mentioned, but they had a normal Christmas tree. Normal, sorry. <laughs> uh, again, a nice presentation of the bathrooms and entrance doors and so on. Even this collection of the pictures was very helpful for us during the restoration. Uh, daughters uh, from the first marriage of Greta with uh, the oldest son Ernst. And this is the moment after the war. Uh, during the war, the house was equipped, was um, accommodated by, at first by uh, Walter Messerschmidt, who was the director of uh, Glocken Motorwerke, Flug Motorwerke in Beno, and later on in the end of the war, it was occupied by uh, Russia Army. Fortunately, Russia Army was there, located only for some weeks. But it's true that they lived, uh, they was cavalleria, they lived there uh, together with the horses. And uh, for instance, Deutsche Werkelinola in main hall was destroyed by the hoof of the, of the horses, and the house was used like a stable. But this is the situation after the war. It means that uh, a lot of glazing was destroyed by the, the pressure wave after the bombing uh, in the end of 1944. Uh, the only one uh, window survived because it was in that critical minute it was open. Uh, this is uh, important to mention that this special technical equipment of the house is marvelous, but I will tell you more later. After the war, uh, the house was used like a ballet school. So this is the one picture from uh, Karla Vladka ballet school. And later on, in, uh, in the 50s, in the early 50s and beginning of the 60s, uh, it was used like a school of rhythm, rhythmic. Beautiful photos by uh, Miroslav Budik. Uh, this lady on the left side is it's a vice dean of faculty of architecture in Beno. So it's a nice picture of her. She was surprised. Uh, this is a moment uh, from 1968. It's another uh, historical moment in our history. It was the time of Prague Spring, so it was our first attempt to, 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 to have freedom, not to be the part of communist bloc, but you know how it uh, happened. But uh, you can see that in, even in that time the house was partly uh, destroyed, but uh, a lot of authentic things and details all the time were there. But uh, in the beginning of the 70s, the situation started to be more and more horrible. A lot of ch uh, changes happened, for instance, the chimney on the right side is two meters higher, as well that the last part is not uh, placed anymore, but because the saving energy is covered. Uh, on the left side, you can see conservatory, so it's uh, really with an extremely leaking uh, ceiling. As well on the right side, uh, the house, uh, the part for the service people. Uh, in the from 1980 to 1985, uh, in a house had the so-called first restoration. We are calling it first restoration, but the, the main goal of this restoration was the basic protection of the house. Uh, there was no historical technical research. Uh, the house started to be used uh, for a special gala event uh, of the state uh, and the city. Uh, we can say something like special VIP communist hotel. 
a lot of uh, meetings and agreements happened there. As well, it is maybe interesting, uh, in 1992, the strategy in Japan of House was signed agreements about the division of Czechoslovakia. Uh, because the location, yeah, the city of Brno, maybe I forgot to mention, is the second biggest city in Czech Republic after the Prague. But our uh, connection to Vienna are very strong from the history. Uh, because to the Vienna it is 120 kilometers to Prague 200. So the Brno is something like the crossroad of the cultural influences, political influences, and even a lot of, for instance, language uh, tolerance in the past. The second restoration was necessary. Uh, in fact, it was duty after the listening of the house to the UNESCO monument. It happened in 2001 as well as uh, Schroeder House in Utrecht was listed in that time. And uh, it was another chance to protect the house and really the main goal was uh, to restore our Picasso or our Rembrandt uh, for the second time because it was touched only once. Sometimes I joke that it was the only uh, advantage of the communist system that we didn't have the money enough so we could restore and restore and restore. So that's why that the, after the first research we tried out, it was clear that uh, it was made by five European universities, uh, universities of applied art or universities who were oriented to specific for conservation. And the result was that the Tupindad Villa is uh, the most authentic work of Miss van der Leyen in Europe. Uh, but sure, we had the troubles, you can see it. Uh, we had the troubles with the foundation, so there was necessary to repair it, uh, the, the technological part uh, of uh, the process, of the project, and finally the realization was incredibly heavy. We were lucky that uh, sure, the restoration in the 90s and restoration in 2010 it was completely based on a different uh, methodology. Uh, we even did some interesting things like for instance moving its transfer of the of the rendering, you can see it here, because we had to support, we had to create new foundation, new wells. Our foundation is in a depth of uh, uh, nine meters, so we had to do the new one. Yeah, it's three, three floors, and three floors, in fact. And uh, that's why that uh, we transferred at first the rendering. After that, uh, the bricks went out. We uh, had another support of the ceiling, and after that, everything went back again. Uh, the whole process of the restoration was supported by European Union. We were lucky that in the end of 2009, there was the new program, so-called Inter Integration Operation Program. Uh, for the region uh, with the uh, cultural possibilities to the future and uh, we in fact received the whole budget it was seven million pounds less or more and sure uh, with the condition I think that some of you had a possibility to work with the European program it's a great to have the money but uh, it's uh, a lot of responsibilities and a lot of administration work uh, we found it in the International Committee, it was necessary. Uh, you can see some of them in this picture. Uh, they, it's a group of, uh, it was a group of um, 14 people, um, about 10 away from uh, the board uh, of uh, Dokomomo International, especially the people from the section for technology, the specialist of the, the best specialist in the Europe of furniture, of, of glass, and it was, uh, uh, as well uh, attended by the family. You can see that uh, every second month we had a meeting, we discussed uh, just now, for instance, with Vesa de Jong, is looking to the whole base, the base of the round table, uh, the lady with the wild hair, or how to say, big hair, this is Daniela Hama Tugendat, the youngest daughter of Tugendat family. Uh, and ground floor, so first, second and the third floor. Uh, you can even see that, for instance, this is the entrance floor with a two bedroom section, bedroom section for parents and for children. This is the part for the staff. 
um, this is the main, main living room, the so-called glass room, and uh, technical equipment, kitchen, and uh, basement. Here you can see the special, special form of, uh, of uh, our foundations because the house is standing on a clay and so that's why that it was necessary to, to, to go on. Yeah, and very quickly I will go through the slides because there is, uh, for instance, the special insulation we didn't expect in this uh, research that we will find special things more typical for Bauhaus than for Middle Europe. It's a, it's a pit, a pit a desk with a cow hairs, original electricity we found, original glass. Uh, sure, the, you can see how the historical picture were helpful during the restoration of the travertine stairs to the garden, as well the glazing was the big task. Uh, we had to buy it finally, uh, because the original Czechoslovakian uh, fabric uh, doesn't exist anymore. We had to buy it in Belgium and uh, led to Polish in France. I'm not talking about the transportation, because the whole material had to, to rise above the, the roof. The glazing, uh, you can see, was quite uh, it was adventure, because originally it was probably uh, what it's to the frames uh, when the, the house was finished. Uh, all iron, original iron things were restored. The handles, uh, the pillars or stones, as well the rail sto uh, door stoppers on the right side, you can see. All of these details are designed by Ms. Mandela. And special category of the restoration of the technical equipment. Here you can see the climatization uh, as well as the semicircle wall. And uh, it's another story I am afraid that I have no time to, to tell it now, but you will find more information about uh, in our website or in our book. So it's uh, lost and, uh, and found uh, semicircle wall. And even the whole furniture, which was designed by me together with a Lily Reich. This is the Bruno chair with a kid skin covering, uh, as well as a Sobo Stuka chair, uh, again a red Bruno chair. So this is the collection from the third floor, the entrance floor with the bedrooms, and from the main floor. Uh, Get that chairs, Beno chairs, Barcelona chair. We really respected the technology, it means that the furniture is even fulfilled uh, in the original way, it means by the seagrass and by the horse hair. And uh, this is a equipment of the main floor, the round table and, and the library. A special technical equipment was incredible in the house. Uh, you can see can say that so the combination of four aspects it means that steel construction, electric lowering of the window, <coughs> climatization, and uh, finally the, the eye, electric eye in the entrance where four aspects were really uh, were extremely expensive but uh, they were extremely comfortable for, for the using of the house. And as well the all bathrooms, all five bathrooms were restored. So, uh, to the last screw, to the last detail. Uh, the restoration finished in the January 2012. We uh, invited our first visitors and sure we are even doing a lot of another programs uh, together with uh, this uh, music days and lectures. We are very successful with the historical films, it's very popular. Uh, this type of night watching, I'm not talking about the children's programs. And I'm going to the last collection who are uh, presenting the final um, situation. So, Onyx Wall with the, with the conservatory on the left, street view, the beautiful view from the garden, and this is the end of my presentation. But I would like to show you three minutes video 
uh, it will come now and I will comment uh, this. Somebody's doing it instead of me. That's <laughs> no technical troubles. <laughs> Thank you for your attention. 